Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a mail opening, so let's get right into it. I've been picking up some mail. <laughs> As you can see right here, this is the mail I've gotten over the past week uh, or two. Um, just trying to build up my modern decks, so we'll just set these aside right here and we'll just get right into it. Yeah, so lately um, I've been planning on attending the Las Vegas Channel Vi Channel Fireball event. So I kind of want to just build up my deck. It looks like right here I got two copies of Urza Saga. I know I pulled one. I pulled one in one of the recent Modern Horizons openings. Uh, there We got a used top loader. No worries, no worries. I'll just reuse it and pass it along. Um... Seems to be in fairly near mint. I don't know about pack fresh, but possibly. Got a little nick right there on the bottom. Oh no, that's just gunk. Yeah, no worries. Yep, we got two near mint sagas. Or the sagas right there. Um, yeah, so what are you building? Are you coming to Las Vegas Channel Fireball event happening November 19th through the 21st? Um, are you guys going to be playing what's in the meta right now? Or are you going to go against the meta? I heard Azorius Control is uh, making a comeback to combat the current meta right now. So a lot of people are building around uh, control uh, because they just want to do something different. But all those that want to do something different are doing the same thing. Uh, this seems like it's fairly near me. It's got a little nick on the bottom here. And, oh no, it doesn't. Just a little piece of, little piece of dust. Uh, we got a Merc Tide Regent. Yep. So I'm super stoked. Um, I've only been to a couple of uh, Grand Prix uh, out in Central America, mostly Memphis, uh, Tennessee, Dallas, around that area. Oops, just bumped the camera. Settle down. All right. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and they like to use the blue painter's tape, too. Yeah, if you haven't already noticed, I painter taped out my address because I don't want people on YouTube that I don't know sending me stuff. I remember back in the day, my brother used to subscribe me to random stuff, and I would get it and I would be scratching my head. I never ordered this, but he would he would always have the last laugh. We got four DRCs here. Barely near me. I'm pretty sure they're near me. Eh, that one's kind of got some edge wear, right? And that's kind of like a given, you know. Sometimes you get edge wear, you just can't prevent it, even though it's packed fresh. Shoot, I could... You know, you know one of the funniest things? Uh, one of the things that I think is funny when going through listings is uh, how people uh, put in all caps, PACK FRESH! And uh, I was just scratching my head the other day, and I was thinking, I was like, hey man, I could take a pack hit it with the hammer and then open up the cards and still call them pack fresh so I don't really uh, base my purchases off listing saying pack fresh or not um, I usually inspect the images very carefully uh, if you inspect images over your phone zooming in and out yeah that that works but I like to do it over my PC um, oh, look, there, we got a nice little note here. Because if you use it over your um, inspect the images over PC, you can actually use the zoom feature that zooms in and out. It looks like, uh, dear value customer, thank you for your purchase. They want five stars. Yeah, always make sure you guys, uh, if you have a good experience with uh, a seller, you hook them up with uh, some feedback. Hopefully positive. And, and if it's not positive, reach out to them. Mm, yeah, gotta get get that out there. 
Um, if it's not positive, at least, you know, make an effort to reach out to them and see if they can uh, resolve any issues you're having. We've got an Alpine Moon. Nice little cyborg card. It's uh, it's kind of a must for um, Hose and Urza Saga decks. But, you know, we're playing Urza Saga in our Is It Tempo deck. But if we ever come up with a mirror match, oh, we got a little nick there. I got this one for a fairly decent price. I think like six bucks. So, so I'm not going to complain too much. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, man, like these sellers are going through quite a bit just to get the card to you. And then they got to cross their fingers hoping USPS doesn't mess anything up. And uh, yeah, you know, just all of a sudden just randomly getting some negative feedback. You know, you, you're, you could potentially be affecting somebody's livelihood, right? Because some people buy, sell, trade, and that's what they do. That's quite a bit of tape. I think that's a little unnecessary. Um, I'll uh, blank out my address over there. So if you see like a little emoji or a icon pop up on the side there, that's what I'm doing. Oh, we got a dress down. You got to be careful with uh, dress down. Could hose your mark tides. Um, yeah, these ones spiked for a bit. Oh, got a little nick there. Oh, that's gross. This is not near it. Well, no. The way it's cut, I guess. The way it's cut, see? Yeah, probably that's a manufactured thing. Oh, here's a, another sideboard card. I'm going off on tangents here and there. Uh, it's kind of difficult to open and... Look at the cards at the same time. Talk about things that are happening. So what have we talked about? Channel Fireball happening here in Las Vegas. November 19th. 19th through 21st. That weekend. I'm going to take some time off work just to attend that on Friday. And I've already asked my boss. Oops. I have to blurt that out. Yeah, I like how they make little personal messages. That's a nice little touch. Um, got this team pack I'm struggling with. Come on, team pack. There's no I in team, right? Maybe I need help with this. All right, there we go. Uh, no. Psych. Oh, my God. I bet you guys are struggling watching that. All right. Got that team pack finally opened. And we got a foil dress down. I got this one for a pretty good deal. It was like $3. I think they're up to like seven now. It's a nice little, uh, yeah, that one looks a whole lot better than the regular copy, doesn't it? Yep, so we talked about Channel Fireball happening late November. Uh, making sure you give feedback to uh, positive experiences on eBay because, man, do they really get you on fees if you're selling on eBay uh, quite a bit. You know, you sell one thing for $10, that thing, next thing you know, you only get it, get six bucks in return after shipping fees. Ooh, this guy's got like baggies. I wonder if a one cup, three fourths cup. Um, yeah, I don't know what that bag is used for. Probably some chafing. We got an expressive iteration. Picked these up when they were around like $4. Not too bad. I think they're up to like five or six dollars. You can still find them for like five bucks every now and then. Um, yeah, and then uh, resolving issues. Man, let's do this. Ooh, I feel something kind of. Something's in there. They gave me a little extra, something extra. Yeah, resolving issues with the seller before you go ahead and throw them under the bus. Um, okay. I guess that's one way to pack something. Yeah. All right. Just want to make sure it gets here safely. Oh, yep, there's some more. Where's the card? Okay. It's an interesting way to package your items. Some sellers, man, um, you know, a lot of Magic the Gathering players are introverts. And uh, believe it or not, the game's called Magic the Gathering. But yet, uh, we have lots of introverts who are into this hobby. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So, you know, just the common sense of packaging an item just 
less is more sometimes less is more um that's all i gotta say um got a little bit of oh there it goes and then as you can see it looks like that's a common thing with the mh2 cards the corners right there are a little bit like inverted it's probably when they punch out the card when they're cutting it yep so there's our second mark tied regent um yeah so i'm i'm, try I'm trying to build uh a, a a is it tempo deck and just kind of see how it feels in hand you know just just uh how it runs gameplay on paper um you know the experience is just a little bit different and then uh you know of course that's how you you can learn to uh correct your mistakes and and play proper so you don't play like a scrub oh uh, this one looks pretty nice i like this Ooh, these clear hard um sleeves are really nice they're not penny sleeves this one's a little bit thicker like an ultra pro or probably probably like uh i know the what do you call it the dragon shields don't have any symbol ultra pro usually puts like a circle right there yeah but that that's a nice feeling and then of course you know we got the merc tire. looks like we got a little nick right there yeah Yep, that is definitely a nick. All right. Well, you know, I picked up most of these Murktide regents for around like fifteen to sixteen dollars, which isn't too bad. They're they're going for around like eighteen to twenty, twenty even more. Uh, we got a nice little package here. Man, this thing is sturdy, and he sent it for uh, the standard envelope shipping price. That ain't too bad, man. Kudos to you. And you got some little eBay ebay tape and ebay oh well that's still ebay tape mm -hmm. ebay tape oh that, that's a little bit bigger let's get that out that one out of the way yep i still have a couple cards to go i'm just trying to pull the trigger on some ragavan nimble pilfers but like i was saying like the playing with paper copies in hand you know just uh playing on paper just the experience is just a whole lot better in my opinion and um yeah, I prefer to play that way instead of just making proxies. But with these Ragavans, man, I might have to just proxy out. Uh, we've got some Void Mirrors there. Nice copies of Void Mirrors. Yep. Can't believe they're only a buck. So we got some sideboard, some main board, main board islands. Now, of course, we got our Mark Tide Regents. I'll bring them down a little bit. There you go. So you guys can see. I think we're we got one more package don't we should have one more package around here oh yeah i missed one i completely missed one here we go yeah this is this is the meat and bones now this seller he had a couple of other things that you know most people are playing in the meta right now uh like hammer time's a big thing we got elementals five color four color elementals um what else we got we got Burn. Burn is making a comeback. Uh, is it Tempo? And then I believe there's, uh, you know, the Crash and Footfalls Cascade decks that are running around. But, uh, and then, like I said earlier, um, to combat all of that, um, people are trying to build some uh, fast control decks um, with, with Tefiri, Time Ravelers, uh, what else? Az Azorius Charms, or not Azorius Charms, um... What's that counterspell charm? It's like a three blue drop. Man, this is really... That's a lot of tape. Look, he just repurposed a Amazon package, bubble package. Mm, gotta, gotta get into this thing. And then he put cardboard. Thanks, man. This thing is uh, packed very securely. And I usually like to message the sellers, you know, please package securely to arrive safe to me because... I spent a lot of money. There we go. All right, on cardboard crack. But um, yeah, yeah. So th those those five six decks are uh, what's going on in modern right now in the modern format of Magic: The Gathering. And uh, yep, we'll just see how it plays out. I'm sure uh, we'll have some results after. Ooh, got more than just a versus. Yep, gotta just pound it out, man. Because if you try to get in that top loader, and then you're gonna 
I did nick that card. You don't want to do that. We got two Urza Saga, one in sketch. Yeah, fairly near a mint. And there's my playset of Urza Sagas. Yep, that looks good. So I'll go ahead and uh, leave positive feedback for all of these. I'll take one more look to see if I overlooked anything. Um, we got our four playset of Murktide Regents. We got some sideboard here. I think I might just do like a one-of of the dress downs. I might have to pick up another Alpine Moon, a one-of of the Void Mirror. Um, and then we got a playset of, I believe a playset, or a Yu-Gi-Oh playset, as they would say. Because Yu-Gi-Oh takes three cards of Esper Sentinels. So I was thinking, you know, hey, I'm already picking up two Urza Sagas, a Murktide Regent um, from this guy. So I might as well uh, pick these up. We got these, um, what do you call it, Esper Sentinels uh, in the Showcase Foil Sketch version. And uh, these these look pretty good, man. Picked these up for a fairly decent price since I was bundling it up with some other items that he had listed. And uh, and the guy the guy agreed. You know, we were talking back and forth, and um, you know he had best offer on there. So so I said, hey, why not? I might as well give it a chance. Uh, you know, and and I don't lowball most of these sellers. Uh, you know, just coming from. A background of, of trying to sell myself um, on eBay some items that I don't need uh, man those fees and then after you package it plus the supplies to package it like the printer ink kills you the most um, you gotta have the top loader you gotta have the envelope you gotta print off the label and then you gotta buy the label through uh, eBay you gotta run to the post office use your own gas just to drop these items off you know when it's all said and done you know, a $10 card, you're only making like $3 off of it. So, you know, sometimes it's not even worth less than uh, anything less than 50 bucks. But, um, yeah, so I try not to lowball these sellers on items like that are, you know, less than 50 bucks. Um, of course, you know, everybody wants a good deal, but you can't penny pinch all the time. And, and uh, sometimes it's even, uh, it's even almost offensive if you give someone an offer say you know they got this up for twenty dollars obo and then you send them offer for five dollars like who who in god's name is gonna accept something they're trying to sell for twenty dollars for five dollars like i mean you know sometimes i've gotten some ridiculous offers like especially for cards under ten dollars like some people will shoot me an offer for like a dollar but hey you know their argument might be look you got OBO. This is my best offer I'm going to offer you. So I might as well shoot it. And you, as the seller, have the opportunity to make a cutoff point on your items um, saying no less than uh, X, Y, or Z dollar amount. And if you don't put that, then, you know, those offers are going to get through. So if that irritates you, don't don't let it don't let these sales sales or um, buyers bother you too much if you're a seller out there. Um, you know, it happens. Um, some people aren't as fortunate enough uh, to be playing the game, but they want the cards, you know, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what keeps this uh, card game going. And um, people love it, man. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so that that's my, my two cents on uh, OBOs on eBay. And then, oh, here, get this, get this. So sometimes people will compare TCG with your sale and if your sale's higher, they'll be like, I'll offer you this because it's this much on TCG. But well, why don't you take your happy ass to TCG player if it's cheaper? Why are you even bothering with eBay? Doesn't make any sense. But, uh, you know, people people live and learn their um, negotiation skills and tactics. Uh, it takes experience and time, you know. Um, and, and we're only talking about a card game here. So uh, we're not talking about, you know buying a house or or anything like that so so I, I never let uh any of these sales on ebay when i'm selling or um when i'm in the shoes of a buyer um to affect my emotions at all you know there's just it's just a card game and we're, we're just talking about like singles here so uh no no black lotuses or anything like that but uh yeah that's my recent pickup guys thanks for tuning in 
Uh, really appreciate you. Leave a comment if you guys are going to be here in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm going to try my my luck at the Modern Main event, which is happening Friday and Saturday. I don't know. I got my fingers crossed to hopefully make it to day two, and maybe uh, a month time will be enough for me to actually, you know, get some gameplay, paper gameplay in, and uh, and uh, you know, learn the deck and pilot it um, appropriately, and and uh, hopefully make it makes it uh, make it to day two, right? Right? Because that that's uh, the whole goal. Most people's uh, goal when they plan these big events. Um, just making it to day two is a, is a pretty sweet accomplishment. Uh, 25k, uh, for the grand prize. Um, and I'm sure that's split up between, uh, first, second, and third place. Uh, 80 bucks to get in. Go ahead and check out Channel Fireball's website, you know, if you guys are interested. Um, but I do it now. I suggest you do it now if you're, if you're traveling from a different state. Uh, yep. Yep. So that's a, a big one coming, uh, up here in the next over a month uh just about a month but uh yeah we got our play set of merc tides uh urza sagas we got three esper sentinels uh in foil sketch showcase uh play set of drcs one expressive iteration and a little bit of sideboard action here so um uh, just need to pick up my ragavans and then i think one more expressive iteration and then oh arc mage's charm that's the counter spell with three blue drop um yep yeah, so gotta get one more Archmage's Charm, and then uh, I've actually got the rest uh, split out through my Commander decks, and um, and what else? My modern decks. I had a old school. Um, is it through the Breach Emmer cool with a sideboard package of uh, uh, Madcap Imperion in there? But th right now, I I can't even imagine playing that. How fast the meta is right now. Um, we're talking. You need to be answering Ragavan turn one or else uh you know you're in a little bit of hurt um same with uh hammer time and then uh burn's gonna get you quick uh yeah yeah elementals um yeah elementals and then uh what's the last one yeah that cascade rhinos right all right yeah, like I said, hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I've got other comment or content coming through. And, uh, leave me a like and a comment. Thanks. Have a good night.